Hey, Divi Nation, thanks for joining us on our documentation as we tell you all about the Divi Tabs module. So the Tabs module is an excellent way to create, you guessed it, tabbed content on poster pages. So this is particularly useful in a lot of different use cases, one of my favorites being a My Account page where you might have different areas of a user account that each need its own section. Instead of displaying that on a crazy long scrolling page, you can create a small section with several tabs. We'll show you how to create and implement tabbed content on pages using Divi's tabs module, as well as how to customize it using our design features in this video. So stay tuned and check it out. In this video, I'm gonna give an overview of Divi's tabs module. Tabs are a great way to consolidate information and improve the user experience on your web page. Adding one to your site is really easy using the tabs module. In fact, you can uh, add the content to each of these tabs using your standard WordPress post editor, uh, much like you would find in your text module. So it's really convenient, really easy. Let's go ahead and look at this uh, tabs module that I have here currently on a product landing page. It's mock content, but it's serving uh, as an example of how to use your tabs module. In this case, I'm showcasing a product, some shoes here with uh, using the tabs module to show to give you the information on the description, the features and the specs of the item. Um, there is an open uh, tab uh, state in which the tab up here is a white background and the content is white as well. If I go to the uh, another tab, you can see that it uh, the active tab turns white in the background with the white content below. So it's kind of a, a by default a helpful uh, UI for showcasing these tabs. If I go into my tabs module settings, you can see that I already have my items added here. I have three tabs, but I could add more if I would like by simply clicking on the add item icon there and adding a title. And you can see because of the column structure and the width of my row here, uh, I don't have a, a lot of space um, to, to add more and more of these uh, tabs. So it's going to, by default, just drop it down and stack it underneath. This is kind of a fail safe way to, uh, to, to keep these tab modules uh, responsive and looking good on all devices. But uh, I wanna keep all my tabs um, displayed nice and horizontal there. So let's go ahead and delete this one for now. And let's check out some of my settings. The content settings for the uh, tabs here um, aside from adding new tabs, you can also add a background for all of your tabs here. If I wanted to give it a, you know, uh, if I wanted to change it to a dark background or whatever, I could do it here. Keep it white for now. Uh, in the design tab, I can go ahead and set my tab text design. Uh, when it refers to tab text, that's referring to the the text that showcases up here on the tab. Uh, right now, my color is red, um, and my uh, I can designate an active tab background color. Uh, the active tab is the one that is actually selected. So when it is selected, whatever that um, tab is, you can choose the default background color, which is white in this case. The inactive tab color, um, can be set here. Um, I think right now it's set to its default, which is that light gray. Um, but if I wanted to, I could change it to white and just have no distinction between the two or maybe change it to a, a, a red or something. I would have to change the text color as well, but you get the idea uh, of changing both active and inactive states of your tab. Tab font, tab font size can be changed here. Um, maybe I want to adjust it to get a more full effect at the top there. Um, tab letter spacing, line height. If I go down here to my body text, uh, the body text is the text within the content of your tab. 
and I can further style those uh, text elements there. Uh, continuing on, uh, I could assign a border to my tab module there if I wanted to. Um, right now, uh, if I use select use border, uh, I think right here, this would be a white background. So because it's, uh, sorry, a white border, and because it's a white background, it kind of looks nice and clean because there is no border there. So it kind of looks it's like it's blending uh, nicely with the rest of the page. But I'm just going to keep that border for now. Adds a nice subtle frame. I could, uh, you know, decrease the width of it if I wanted to, just like I could most modules. Add some additional spacing. Um, if I wanted to add some padding here, maybe some 20 pixels of padding uh, to override my default. That gives it maybe a little bit more room. Add an animation, um, maybe slide it in. And then, of course, you have your advanced uh, settings as well. Let's go back to our content tab and let's go ahead and edit an individual tab. So editing an, an individual tab will override some of these general settings that we just went through to customize each one of these tabs specifically. This first tab here is uh, the one called description. As you can see, I've already put my title description there with my mock text here in the body of the, t of the tab. If I wanted to add just a background for this tab and not any of the others, I could do that. So if I added a, maybe a, a light gray background here, you wouldn't see it on the others. You would only see it on this one. Go ahead and erase that for now. The design settings for an individual tab include the ability to override any of the text like we did in the general settings there, like tab text color, font, all that. Uh, the difference being now we can just customize each and every individual tab as opposed to all of them at once. Uh, the body text as well and any uh, you know individual tab spacing we would like to add to the content section there. And now that we have a, a, you know, a brief overview of the settings that we have in our tabs modules, let's go ahead and create one from scratch really quickly, just so you can see how it's done. I'm going to erase the one I have here currently. And if uh, I wanted to add a tabs module, simply click add new module here, search for tabs up there, find it, click on it. And then you'll see the tab settings box appear. Uh, I would suggest going ahead and adding your first uh, or your tabs here first before you go in and change any of the tab settings. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll add our first tab. Uh, I'll put the title as de uh, description. And I'll go to my content box here and add the body text of my tab. Add some mock text for now. And let's go ahead and save that out. And for sake of time, I'm just going to duplicate this one uh, twice so I can have my three tabs. And I'll go in and just change the title. Change this one to Features. And for the third one, I'll go in and change it to Specs. So now that I have my three tabs uh, ready to go, Let's go ahead and add some design to it. Uh, for this example, I'm not going to go in and change uh, individual uh, settings. I'm just going to change the overall uh, settings of all the tabs. And to do that, I'll just go to my design tab. Uh, let's say I want for my tab text, I, I want to leave the active background as its default. And I want to leave the um, inactive tab background to its default gray but I want to add a custom tab text color. So let's go ahead and get in there and change it to a red. And it's a good tab color because it, it works well both on the active and inactive tab states. And as you can see, 
uh, just in a few minutes, I was able to add a, a clean looking uh, tabs module to my product page. And there's your overview of the tabs module.